welcome to the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I'm your host, Roman Sanzo, and today we got a, well, review for you today. Yes, it's been a while and we are going to get right into it. Uh, this is going to be a solo episode, but hey, um, it's better than nothing, right? <laughs> so anyway, in today's episode, we are going to review My Little Pony, Pony Life, Season 1, Episode 20. In this episode, uh, we have two, by the way, and in this episode, uh, uh, the mysterious voice, uh, Twilight, Applejack, and Rainbow Dash try to determine where a strange voice is coming from. And in the five habit of highly effective ponies, Fluttershy imitates her friend's behavior to get a butterfly to come out of her cocoon. Of its cocoon, my bad. So, uh, first impressions are in order, and this episode is kind of okay. It's not the greatest, and uh, for the mysterious voice, it starts off as something mysterious, where the main tree kind of hear voices, and it tells them to. Um, well, for Twilight, it tells her to relax. For Applejack, donate her stuff that she doesn't use anymore. And for Rainbow Dash, uh, go outside and play, something like that, or be a hero. So, um, the ponies freaks out, and they kind of decide to listen to the voice. And uh, hijinks ensue, so that seems to be the whole uh, arc of pony life. And in the five habits of highly effective ponies, Fluttershy just get frustrated by the cocoon that's not uh, coming out, and she tries to copy her friends to, well, um, get it out. So, uh, that is kind of a bad first impressions, <laughs> but overall, it's just okay and. I, I can't say more without going in because one of the few things about Pony Life is that it's really short and um, going through it, it, it's kind of a, a watch and turn off your brain kind of thing where it just goes and it's done. And the whole episode, including music, is just 11 minutes long. So... I guess we'll just hop right into it then. So, in The Mysterious Voice, we start off with, well, uh, we get to see a outside view of Twilight's castle, I think? It's not really her castle. It looks like she's in um, the castle of her two sisters or someplace. I'm not sure. It's <clears throat> it's clearly not her castle from the outside view. But anywho, um, we get in to the castle and we see twilight organizing her stuff spike comes in and talks to twilight and says yo twilight look what i've got i i got a new app and twilight just stops him and says i'm sorry spike i'm not uh, i'm a bit busy right now i, I got to um, organize all my schedule and uh, put them in this tablet because I have five years worth of scheduling need to be done and stuff. And Twilight, sorry, and Spike just says, um, couldn't you do it later? I mean, today's kind of good day outside and stuff. And Twilight just says, nah, can't, can't, can't. I, I need to do this. I need to do this. And feeling defeated, Spike flies away. And once Spike is off screen, we get to see Twilight getting back to her work and there's a mysterious voice coming out of her phone. I will never get used to seeing that. And the voice tells Twilight, Twilight Sparkle, go out and relax. Relaxing is good. And Twilight kind of follows its orders. She's a big freak out, and she does. And still wary about what just happened and in the next scene we see spike visiting applejack in her barn and in her barn which is nothing like the previous barn we've seen holds a lot of her old mementos that she 
um, keep or kept and never let go. Uh, it seems that Applejack here is a hoarder. Uh, she, sorry, uh, Spike noticed that, hey, um, Applejack, I never knew you played the saxophone. And Applejack says, nope, never learned it. But who knows, one day I might. And um, while in the barn, she tells Spike about, oh, uh, I, I got a lot of sentimental values for these items in the barn. Like you see this um, wheelbarrow here. Uh, ever since I got the new one, I never use this one anymore. But I, I never found, I, I couldn't have the heart to uh, throw it away or give it away something like that <clears throat> and this radio here like it stopped working and i i don't have the heart to dump it so most of the time uh, applejack here is just reminiscing and stuff and spike being here just it's just like uh he's just asking applejack um you want to hang out or something like that i mean it'll be fun but it seems that Applejack is too into her thing. And with that, Spike goes away. And when Spike is not here, uh, we see Applejack reminiscing about stuff and whatnot while holding the radio. And the radio speaks to her and telling her to donate all the things that she don't want to. Ooh. Applejack comments that um, this radio hasn't worked in a very long time what, what was going on here and it seems that she spooked out and does what the voice on the radio says and we meet up with um rainbow dash in her cloud house in the sky <clears throat> and rainbow dash is feeling bored she played all her video games she did all her exercises she read all her comic books and mangas and she's bored. She she got no idea what to do anymore. And while feeling a bit um, bored and kind of pondering life, she hears a voice. Uh, the voice tells her, Rainbow Dash, you should go outside and do stuff. Rainbow Dash just asks, like, what, 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 what should I do? What should I do? And the voice just um, says, um, be a hero, question mark. And Rainbow Dash says, that's a good idea. I'll be Danger Dash. And yay, that motivates her to zoom outside. Twilight, um, we, we come back to Twilight walking around the park, feeling a bit confused off and puzzled by what happened to her. She sits on the bench and tries to ponder where did that strange voice came from? And we, we see Applejack um, ho hauling her wheelbarrow and thinking, huh, where, where, um, how, who should I give this to? I mean, I got no idea. I mean, I have all this stuff and I got no idea who I should donate it to. And she accidentally pushes the wheelbarrow and it rolls down towards twilight twilight sees this and she panics oh no the wheelbarrow is about to crush me oh no rainbow dash swoops in and stops the barrel and saves twilight from getting crushed by items yay and <clears throat> Rain uh, applejack comes in and says oh wow thank you for uh, just thank you i mean um Applejack, Twilight, thank Rainbow Dash for being there and whatnot. And Rainbow Dash says, Nah, don't thank me. Thank the mysterious voice. And with that, everybody's just like, Wait, what? You you heard it too? You heard the mysterious voice? And after they wonder who or what the mysterious voice is, um, Spike comes out clean and says, uh, it was me. Uh, it was my voice changing app. And uh, I was the one that kind of put you in this sticky situation. I'm sorry. But the girls just says, oh, no problem, man. Like that, that app is cool. And they asked to 
look at the app or want to know what it does. And Spike just says, oh, you already know what it does. And there's a flashback to um, him in the background using the app to, well, freak the girls out or just to trick the girls. And the girl says, oh, wow, that, that's pretty cool. And uh, they thank Spike to, well, they thank Spike for helping them get motivated and whatnot. Um, help Twilight get out into the world, get some fresh air uh, for Applejack, help her with, well, lightening, lightening her load in the barn and uh, giving her things to charity where some other pony folks might need it more than her and for Rainbow Dash just to get out and play. And with that, Rainbow Dash invites um, Spike for a fly and he accepts. And with that, this episode ends. So let's move on to the next one. Uh, the five habits of highly effective ponies. So <clears throat> with this one, we see Fluttershy entering Sugar Cube Corner with a bowl. And in said bowl, there is a cocoon. And in the cocoon, it is said to be a butterfly. And well, Fluttershy talks to Pinkie Pie about her well, her problem, and said problem is that the cocoon has not come out yet. It's been almost a week where it should have, but it's not popping out. And Fluttershy asks, um, like, what do, like, do you have any idea what to do and whatnot? But before Pinkie Pie could answer, she spots a new customer coming into the store offering cupcakes because, well, he is his first time here and there's three samples. And <clears throat> Saltashai just looks at what Pinky does and she sees like, oh wow, Pinky is really passionate about her cupcakes and whatnot and it really affects the new customer. And the new customer really enjoys the experience and whatnot. And Pinkie Pie, well, getting the idea to copy her friends, does the whole um, hyper-passionate pony thing. And it doesn't seem to work for her because, well, that's not what the cocoon needs. And with that, Fluttershy decides to emulate somebody else. And uh, emulating Rain... Sorry, um, Applejack. Fluttershy meets up with Applejack. Talking to her like, uh, Applejack, how do you get these trees growing and whatnot? And Applejack just says, oh, I, I give it a, uh, the proper sunlight, the proper uh, water, and a lot of manure. And tell him, I love you, tree. And <clears throat> that seems to work for Applejack and her trees um, back home. Fluttershy emulates the what Applejack did, but it doesn't seem to work for her. And this seems to be the pattern. And you know what? I'm just going to speed through because it's a repeating format where Fluttershy goes to Expony. Expony explains how she does her stuff and Fluttershy emulates it at home and doesn't work. So I'm just going to run through the whole gamut. So after Applejack, Fluttershy meets up with Rarity. Rarity is a lot of drama and a lot of... i got no idea what they say. But it doesn't work for her at all with the cocoon. And Fluttershy decides to go with Twilight because she's logical and try to do things logically. And it doesn't work for her. So, so the <laughs> uh, shine meets up with Rainbow Dash, and Rainbow Dash is a lot of sports, a lot of hard work, a lot of determination and whatnot. And so the shine does it, and it doesn't work for her, and she's frustrated. Like she she talks to herself, or she ponders to herself, like, um, I'm doing whatever my friends did, and it's not working for me, and. It doesn't seem to work for you, Cocoon. You're, you're not coming out. 
And Fatishai thinks to herself, what works for me is patience. And once she realizes that the cocoon pops open to reveal a butterfly, and with that, Fatishai realizes, oh, my thing is patience. And because of that, the cocoon comes out and becomes a butterfly and flies to the wild. <clears throat> Sorry. And with that episode ends. Okay, let's go to final thoughts. So with the mysterious voice, it's a pretty interesting episode where Grace <laughs> where Spike here gets into well, not really gets into, but Spike here wants to hang out with his friends, but most of them are busy. And I, I think I skipped a few lines, but where uh, Twilight commented saying that, why didn't you just tell us, Spike, if uh, you wanted to hang out with us? Uh, if you did, we would have done so gladly. But Spike comments, uh, like Spike rebuts and says that, I tried and I tried and did, but you guys didn't let me finish and stuff. And the girls felt bad about that. But um, the thing is, um, in all honesty, uh, I, I got no idea. This is one of those things where the setup is awesome, but the lesson at the same time too is one of those things where there's no right or wrong because if you are busy, you're busy. And with uh, the girls, they, they're willing to hang out with Spike but not really giving him the time or, and day to, well, just get his word out. And that, fe that feels bad a bit for Spike. Overall, um, the episode was kind of okay. Uh, Spike's little prank did help the ponies kind of get into the mood of doing stuff uh, for Twilight. It's just kind of relaxed because uh, being all stuff up inside house on a good shiny day is bad. Like you should go out and play and stuff. And for Applejack, you have a lot of stuff that you don't really need. Why don't you give it away to somebody who does? For Rainbow Dash, I guess it's sunny outside and just play outside. And in the end, uh, everything works out, so that's awesome. And let's move on to the five habits of the of highly efficient ponies. This one is a bit of a um, setback for Fluttershy's character, and it seems like Pony Life seems to do that a lot with Fluttershy, like they kind of pull her back in terms of what character progression or character growth she had, but. The thing with Fluttershy is that her patience is her virtue. She, uh, being patient works for her. Uh, waiting around, just uh, being patient with the creature or pony, whatever it is, seems to be her MO. And when she blows, she really blows and it affects certain creatures. Uh, for example, Discord. She was very patient with him when she was trying to, uh, what's the word, rehabilitate, uh, re, 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 <laughs> rehabilitate him. And once she was fed up with Discord, Discord realized that, oh, I done goofed. So with this one, it seems that, let us you, you, you are an animal expert and you know that if the cocoon is not ready to hatch, it's not ready to hatch. You just have to wait for a little while. And yeah, this one feels like it take a few steps back. It is entertaining to see Fluttershy trying to emulate all the other ponies, but it doesn't feel like how Rainbow Dash emulates her friends in that one Wonderball episode I forgot. That was more entertaining and funny. Uh, for Fluttershy here, it just felt off. And you know what? I, I kind of want to see... Well, <laughs> now I won't be able to, but I, I do like the idea of Fluttershy trying to emulate the other ponies. And 
the way I want her to do it is like she's convinced that she's Rainbow Dash or she's Applejack and whatnot. And she does the accent, the attitude and whatnot. And like could be like she hit her head or something like that. Like that could be fun. And it could be cool to see Fluttershy doing the whole thing. And um, if she tries to fly fast, like she barely flies fast, but to her it is fast. And uh, for Rainbow Dash, she's impressed that oh wow, um, if she really tried, she could really, um, sorry, um, if she really tried, she could go fast. Not as fast as me, but still fast. So yeah, um, this is one of those episodes. I, uh, there's an episode idea that I feel like it has a lot of potential, but we are in season five now, and season five is in a few weeks. <sighs> but anywho, but anywho, um, those are my thoughts for the episode. So anyway, um, let's wrap things up. So anyway. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at the mbshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at mbshow, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitch Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on ponylive.com. Links will be in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash mbs show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Master of Lag, and Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So before I wrap things up, <coughs> um, I just want to let you guys know um, consider this as housekeeping if you didn't catch the news podcast. Um, one of the few reasons why I haven't posted any episode recently is because that um, there's a few things. Um, one of it is that I recently took my second shot of the pandemic via vaccine and I was out of it for a few days. So needed a lot of rest, couldn't do much recording, was really out of it. And the second one is that um, my hard disk with all of my, whatchamacallit, pictures, videos, music, and work was kaput. Um, basically, it died and I, I got nothing. So... Yeah, that that one was recent. That one was like quote unquote this week, the um fourth week of August. And while well, this episode comes out, it'll be the end of August, start of September, whatever it is. Yeah, so basically, I I have to go back to scratch, uh, getting back the notes, getting back the uh, episodes that I want to review. And a lot of other things. So, um, if, if I change things suddenly or, um, the show is a bit different from before, um, it's because that I'm starting back from the ground up. And yeah, that, that is not, um, something that is easy for me right now, especially with how things are going. Yeah, and also I forgot to save my music file, so that's crap. It's a good thing that I have the email from Mando, so yeah. Uh, music outro intro is still there as you're listening to what I'm saying right now. Yes. So anywho, um, uh, <laughs> with that, let's wrap things up. I have been Norman Sanzo, and thank you so much for listening to the Review and Discussion Podcast. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.